welcome to season two of the Fit to Love podcast show. and all about you. Enjoy the show. Today's show was brought to you by audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at fittolovebook.com. Today's show, a dairy-free mint pistachio pesto. Oh, I'm so excited. We have back Dr. Meg and we're making pesto today. And not only making pesto, we're making a mint pistachio pesto. So I'm very excited. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Yay, I'm so excited. I actually made up this recipe for one of my clients because they love pistachios. Um, and they love mint and they love lemon. So I just, okay, I'll make up a pesto. So and, is, and isn't that how it goes? You're like, I like these things and how can I make them go together? And I actually was commenting before we press play was that uh, this is the only nut, I think, being uh, paleo that I haven't used yet. So I'm extra excited. And as we were tasting them, I thought, oh, it does have kind of a cheesier flavor, which would make sense when you're trying something dairy free, but you want that texture and that flavor in whatever it is that you're making. So I'm excited. So let's get started. How do we start? Okay. Well, we're going to use a Vitamix uh, blender or some kind of food processor. So um, we're going to start with the Close of bread, which you have already beautifully done here. Um, put these in first because this, they, we want these to get blended up well. And we're doing three cloves of garlic because we love garlic. <laughs> so it's my show. We do garlic, garlic on my show. <laughs> exactly. If you don't like garlic, then just take it out. <laughs> exactly. So these are pistachio nut meats. I always thought it was funny they call them meats, but. Um, it, but it's the, the center of the pistachio, which, as you know, can be labor intensive to open up the pistachio one after the other. So these are already done for you. You can get these at Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, any place that sells nuts, basically. Um, it's about, uh, uh, about a quarter or half a cup there of pistachio. Okay? Um, and then basil. Well, can we talk about your basil? Yes, JJ brought the basil today and picked it out of the garden this morning, and it was very fragrant in my car. And uh, and of course, it took a little time to process it because you know when you buy basil, it's already washed and it's already cut, and it doesn't come on the stem. So let's talk about all the things on the stem that you don't get when you buy it at the store and what it's good for. Yeah. Um, well, basil. Oh, fantastic. So delicious and good for you. But one of the things that a lot of people don't do that I always say to do is to use the bud because the bud contains so much flavor and a lot of the plant oils are actually in the bud as well. So you get more of the nutrition from the basil. So um, and a way that you can just do that is just pull them off. Well, just pull them off right down the stem. So you don't get the stem, but you get that's yeah, beautiful. Isn't that great. And I bet you a lot of you, if you have grown basil, cut that off. I don't know I was. So <laughs> now I won't do that anymore, but I know that when I'm processing it in the sink and I'm cutting it and I like when you smell, this is a stronger smell yes. because it has more of the oil in it. Excellent. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So because you're using more bud, you use a little less leaf. Oh, so very you don't have to go for as many leaves. Like if you only have one small basil plant in your yard, then but um, yeah, you have a lot of basil, which is so nice. It's so exciting. So this is organic basil from JJ's garden. Exciting. So typically, what you'll do is about uh, two cups of uh, the basil leaves, sort of loosely packed, and we're just going to just put them right in there. And of course, we wash them thoroughly. Yes. Because we did bring a spider with us today, Ooh, and we don't want to blend things like that. No, no. Poor little spider, we want to save his life, poor guy. Um, so the other thing that we have is mint. Um, mint is prolific in California, so it just grows like a weed, um, but it's so delicious. And it's really great for digestion as well. So we just had one of those tight, those little packages that you get at the market, and it's just that much worth. Okay, put that right in there. So we want basically double the amount of basil that we have mint, or half the amount of mint as we have basil, yeah. right? And like you said, it's probably the taste. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. All right. So if you love mint, put more mint in, and if you don't like mint, put less mint in. Exactly. Okay. 
The next thing we'll do is we'll take lemon, and I like a lot of lemon in this recipe. Uh, it makes it kind of zippy and tangy. Zippy. Zippy. It is a zippy <laughs> and tangy recipe. Tangy's good. So these are small lemons too. So, um, so we're using two of them because they're so small. Well, and I think lemon brings out, yeah, it, it's the tang. It also helps that green taste uh, when you put it in things that are green. So I think um, if you like spicy foods or if you you know like tangy foods, it definitely uh, lemon. And lemon's in regular basil pesto anyway. Yeah. Uh, often, not always. Oh, okay. So, um, one of the things, because we're doing a dairy-free item here, that we want to do, uh, the flavor really comes from the garlic. So I always say a little bit of extra garlic if you're doing a dairy-free pesto. And also add a little bit of salt because one of the things that Parmesan, which is used in most pestos, does is it adds a salty flavor to it. Yeah. So here we're going to add probably about a quarter teaspoon, maybe half a teaspoon of salt. It just depends on what you want to do. I've seen some recipes do an entire teaspoon. So again, it's another one of those two taste things. Two taste, and especially with salt, because the complaint for some people is I don't like too much salt. And I don't want to have too much salt. My doctor said don't eat so, so again, go sparingly. And as you see, as you blend it, you can always add some more salt later. Rather go, exactly. some, rather be, um, hold back at first because you can always add more. But you can't really, you can undo it if you put too much in, but you have to make more. So you have to yeah. add more of everything else to make up for too much salt. Yeah, just go out in the garden and get more basil. <laughs> right, just add more in. Which I can do. I don't, and I'm sure you can no, do No, not everybody can do. But um, yeah, it's my city garden on my balcony. Um, all right, so we're gonna do about a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil because this is a raw recipe. We want to use a really good quality olive oil because um, of the taste, the flavor. All right, and here's the the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> the moment we're all waiting for. Yeah, is that off? <laughs> No power. Is it off? I don't know. Yes. I felt powerless. <laughs> powerless to make my best so. Okay, there we go. And you work right. <laughs> now, and now we're going to blend up this pesto. Okay. This happens sometimes where you want to put a little more liquid in. So I'm going to put a little more olive oil in here. Can we talk about this little thing here? Yes, we can. What's it's called? What is it called? It's called a plunger. A plunger. <laughs> okay. Plunger. So as a Vitamix newbie, I mean I've used a Vitamix, but I don't. You have one yet? Uh, um. So my concern would be, well, wouldn't I blend the plastic? Oh yeah, you would think, but no, it's it's made so that it, it misses the blade. It's the, the blade. So if you it. stick it all the way in with this, yeah. you will not hit the blade. Exactly. Yeah. Nice to know, because I really don't want to eat plastic. No. Okay, good. It's terrible. Plastic, gross. All right. So. Okay, the moment we've been waiting for. So this is a pistachio mint dairy-free basil pesto. Mmm. Yum. Right? Mm -hmm. A lot of flavor, huh? Mm -hmm. And you really taste the lemon. Well, the idea of the mint, the mint is like, like basil has a, basil's a powerful flavor, mm -hmm. but with the lemon and the mint, there's like a, like a hello. Yeah. It's like a hello flavor. I don't know how to say it. Like basil feels a little heavy, mm -hmm. and then the mint's like, hi, I'm <laughs> here. I have no idea how else to describe how this tastes, this mint, so you're going to have to make it. It's really good in this. I think it's what you have left in your mouth too afterward is, is the mint. It's like a flavor. It's like a part of my mouth. It's just, you know, there's so many different <laughs> flavors that are like wanting to be like, it's me, it's me. Okay, I love it. So now what would you put this on and how would you use it? Oh, there's so many uses for pesto. I love to take a tomato, an heirloom tomato and slice it and then uh, just spread some pesto on it. And then you've got a great uh, pesto slider. Um, so good, right? And then, or you can put it on fish or chicken and just bake it in the oven at 350 until it's done. Um, Would it kill so some of the flavors? Like I'm wondering, could I bake the chicken then with the pesto it's on it? It's much better to do it raw, yeah. definitely. 
So it doesn't kill the flavors, it does change them. Yeah. So, but the, the raw is better because you're, you're just going to get more nutrition from the whole thing, right? And, and obviously we can dip vegetables in this and mm -hmm. you can do a vegetable salad like cucumbers, right? We can right. mix it and toss it in a salad, yeah. a vegetable salad. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then, of course, if you're still eating pasta, gluten-free pasta, hopefully, um, or <laughs> we did an episode on veggie pasta, you could yeah. do your veggie pasta with your zucchini, pesto. Mm -hmm. Zucchini mm -hmm. pasta with a spirulini maker. Ooh, Ooh nice. that exactly. would be amazing. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. So try it and let us know, especially the mint. Let us know how you love it. The Fit to Love podcast show offers you six days a week of helpful content to achieve the happy life you deserve. Movement Mondays and Tasty Tuesdays are weekly video casts, while Wellness Wednesdays, Thoughtful Thursdays, Freedom Fridays, and Sexy Saturdays are audio-only shows themed every week to address your holistic life and needs. If this show inspired you, we would love for you to share it and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us today. Head on over to fittolove.tv for recaps of every show, resources, and to join the community. That's F-I-T, the number two, L-O-V-E dot TV. Have a fit and fabulous day.